So recently I decided that I wanted to add light to my LEGO city. Because I'm a really cheap person, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on third party LEGO lighting. It's not nothing, not all the fact that I'm cheap, it's just the fact that I didn't want to wait. I wanted to do the lighting that day. So instead of buying third party LEGO lights, I decided that I'd try a different method. Christmas lights. So what I had my mom do was go down to our Christmas room and search through her bins. And she managed to find a, two packs of these holiday lights. These holiday lights come in like a box like this, but you can use any holiday Christmas light. There's 20 lights in this box and they were just $3 Canadian a box, which is a good deal. And as I mentioned, I used two boxes. These are the lights I used. You don't have to use this brand. This is not an endorsement or anything like that. And I just used them in the color clear. Once I had the lights, what I had to do was put them in my buildings. So this is the strand, the cord for the lights right here. It's running from, to the, from the outlet into the city. And basically what I did was just put each strand into buildings. So as you can see, I removed bricks, removed window panels, lifted them up, and just put the lights in. It's not very hard. It's also not very professional looking, so if you take your city to like conventions and stuff like that, I'd say invest in a little bit better lighting as this, like from the front here, looks very nice. But from the back it doesn't look professional at all, it looks bad actually. Once I ran my lights into the building like I mentioned, I just made sure that I couldn't, you know, directly see them when I'm looking at my city. If I do look closely, I can see them in buildings like this, and that, and there. But I'm, since nobody's really looking for them, I didn't worry about it too much. Next, I had to find a spot to plug it in. Because my LEGO room is designed weird, I had to do it this way. So this is the start of this strand, and as you can see, 20 lights are used just here. If they were spaced a little differently, I could have changed them up a little, but I did manage to light up these six buildings, so I thought that was pretty good. This is the first strand coming in, there was a little bit longer cord so I just strung it across there like hydro lines and eventually I'll probably do something like that. It actually goes up into the windowsill. And this is the window here with the blinds down and like cardboard paper down there just because I don't want the Lego to get sun rotted. Nor do I really care if people see what I'm doing in here. I put it up through the blinds, now it's attached to an extension cord. So it's continuing to go up through the blinds and there's the extension cord. It's going over this big bright light here and into the outlet over here. Because when during my LEGO room renovation back in March, instead of keeping the light fixture that was there, my dad and I changed it out and made it an outlet. So I could add a light here, but we put it here and we ran the extension cord through. Next what I did was to light up these buildings was I put put another strand of light into the extension cord and ran it along this way. So actually behind the this uh, blanket and behind the window screen is actually a lot of lights just lit up. That's why I can't leave them on so long because there's light hitting the paper, which is a fire hazard. Don't do that. Don't tell my dad the firefighter I did that either. So I strand put some more lights in there and then what I did was I put one light in every single floor of this building. If you're looking at it from this part of the city, it doesn't look very good, but when you're looking at the street city, the street, when you're looking at the city straight on, you don't even notice. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to light up your Lego city. If you have any other questions on how I did this, please feel free to ask me down in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoy. I just wanted to make this clear that I'm not trying to tell you not to buy third party Lego brands lights because they do great things. I just didn't buy them because I was going to need so many, I never take my city to a convention and stuff like that, and I'm just too cheap and too patient, so, or not too impatient, I didn't want to wait, I wanted them done that day. Thanks everybody for watching, check the cards for more of my LEGO videos.